what I've got here is uh, Logitech Streamcam uh, webcam. Uh, they're quite popular and good quality uh, webcams. Um, 10, 80 pixels, 60 uh, FPS refreshing rate, um, quite good. Uh, they are about $100 um, online, um, new. I got this camera um, broken um, with um, the most common failure that happens to them, uh, which is USB plug uh, falling apart. Uh, for unknown reason Logitech didn't use a quality plug and uh, they uh, basically fall apart when you, when you uh, use them. Um, so here the cable is um, unsoldiered because the previous owner tried to use one of those uh, modules that you can buy one of those uh, repair USB-C plugs that you can buy online and he soldiers, soldiered uh, uh, um, all the wires accordingly they were correct um, in the correct places uh, here on the correct parts um, and the quality of the soldiering was actually quite good um, he was literally two resistors away from getting this camera to work again uh, but he didn't sort of like figure out um, how USB-C protocol works um, and what is required to get actually power into the webcam from the USB-C socket. Um, so I'm going to show you how the USB-C protocol works uh, and uh, how to get 5 volts out of USB-C uh, socket for, for the devices. USB-C plugs available for DIY soldering come in a huge variety. Often they have resistors in place. Depending on the project, these resistors may need to be modified. The CAM I received had a plug for use with USB chargers, not suitable for Logitech webcam. Logitech StreamCAM USB-C plug replacement must have CC pins pulled down to ground via 5.1 kilo ohm resistors. Otherwise, a laptop or PC connected to webcam does not provide 5 volts to the CAM. See a little experiment I show later in this video. Plug must also connect four wires for super speed transmission receive for full high definition resolution and 60 frames per second. Here is a diagram of connections between Logitech StreamCam and laptop or PC. Communication through USB 2.0 gives video up to 720p 30 FPS for higher resolutions, USB 3.0 protocol is required. You can see test here uh, with the original plug uh, having 56k pull-up resistor still connected to CC pin. Um, uh, it's plugged into the USB-C socket in the PC and the voltage is 6.7 millivolts. So basically there is no voltage. Here we're going to desoldier the 56 resistor. Uh, I'm going to use my new uh, DIY station and the tweezers for this purpose. It worked actually quite well. Um, and then we're going to do a test number two. So I'm going to uh, soldier two 5.6k resistors to both CC lines. I don't have the proper 5.1k resistors. Uh, to my hand, so that's why I'm going to use 5.6 Ks. And uh, this is the bolt that is prepared, this is the plug that is prepared with 5.6 K resistors pulled down, so they connect CC lines to ground through 5.6 K. And uh, we're going to activate voltage output on the USB socket, and it's 5 volts, perfect result. And that was the reason why Logitech CAM was not powered um, with repair from the previous owner, because basically uh, he didn't tell uh, PC to give, um, to start um, voltage uh, output in the, uh, in the socket. Uh, I think you have all the information now required to do the repair. 
uh, of the socket so uh, you have to remember to um, pull down CC lines in the USB-C to ground uh, through 5.1k uh, resistance um, and uh, here is the uh, pinout uh, of the socket and uh, wiring of the Logitech uh, Streamcam cable um, so putting it together it should allow you to do a successful repair of the Logitech Streamcam um, uh, broken USB-C plug um, I haven't done the repair yet because I'm still waiting for the uh, parts for the plug to uh, arrive uh, but I'm quite confident that it's going to uh, work absolutely fine.